What it do, Internet? David Ba here, and today we're going to be doing a little movie review. We're going to be going over the movie Sorry to Bother You. Let's get into it. Now we go over every movie in the same context with story, pacing, acting, cinematography, and execution. That way it remains consistent and you can keep up with uh, what's going on. But story. Now I am going to give it the the point for story. It's, it's super original. Totally caught me off guard. Definitely a very unusual movie. I, I don't want to give everything away, but I'm definitely going to have to give it to him. Uh, pacing, I don't think I'm going to give it to him for pacing. I feel like though it was a a great story, I, I, you know, it went from beginning to end um, a little bit slow for my taste. Uh, I don't know that it necessarily detracts from the movie in a real sense, but you know, there were a few times where they were going over the same sort of things, um, you know, over and over again, and that I felt like their audience deserved a little bit more credit, um, you know, and that that they didn't need to be bludgeoned over the head with uh, the storyline. Uh, so I'm not going to give it to them for, for pacing. Acting, absolutely. Uh, the main guy was really great. Uh, there's there's a lot of people in this. David Cross as his white voice was awesome. Patton Oswald was another white voice and that just worked uh, phenomenally well. Uh, you know, there was there was a lot of a lot of really good moments, a lot of really good character work uh, being done and it is sort of an unusual movie there's there's a lot of different actors in it and i feel like uh you know they they definitely delivered on what i would uh, want out of a, a project like that uh cinematography i am definitely going to give it to them there was a lot of really cool shots it was very sort of artistically based as opposed to making it very you know fact-based and I think that when a movie is able to suspend disbelief like that um, and do it visually as opposed to just having to tell you everything I think that that goes a long way they, they did a really good job of choosing their shots and executing on them uh, execution I'm also going to give it to them it's a it's a weird concept it's a weird telling of it but I feel like they set a tone uh, they created a unique sort of vision that you're not going to see other places and they told their story effectively um, and you know that's that's all you can really expect from from filmmakers this movie didn't really explode I think the way that it should have I, I you know I'm kind of surprised more people aren't talking about it. I remember hearing about it at the time and I remember people saying that it was a really weird movie but uh, I just got around to watching it and you know, it is a weird movie. It is certainly pretty weird, but very well done. But that's all I had for you guys today. It was a pleasure as always, and you have a wonderful evening.